Hello there, I'm Trevor Hannon. Today we'll be talking about cleaning your trombone. So as you can see right here, as many of you probably, any trombonist out there have a trombone looking like this. A standard tenor trombone. And as well, have a bigger trombone here called a bass trombone. Now I'll be talking about these two more in detail in my other videos, but basically a bass trombone is the same length as the tenor trombone, same key B flat, just slightly bigger bore, so tubing size, and has these two extra sets of tubing here with valves that allow the instrument to play lower. So for this video I'm showing you I'll be featuring my bass trombone and in my next videos I'll be talking about cleaning valved instruments, piston valve instruments, so I'll be featuring my tuba. Thank you and enjoy. For this part, we'll start off with the main tuning slide. So first take off the outer part, and now we'll just have the inner part, which is the part you really need to clean. So for the purposes of this video, I cannot get the computer in the bathroom or the kitchen to uh, show you the sink, but I have a you know, a bowl here of hot soapy water and a cloth to clean the main slide. So first, take your wet soapy cloth, squeeze it out so there's uh, not too much water, and simply rub it along the slide until it's clean enough. Then, after this, Rinse it under the sink, or in the bathroom if you have one. Then get a clean dry cloth, wipe it dry. Then, place it down on a table with a dry towel, so as not to get your table wet. Now, onto the tuning slides. As you can see, this is a bass trombone and has two extra tuning slides. And the tenor only has one. And I'll show you my tenor trombone later to show you the difference. So, here's one of the main tuning slides and the other. And this is the, we call it the main main tuning slide, which tunes the instrument itself. And these other ones tune the, the two valves here, as you can see. So just like the main slide, clean it with a wet soapy cloth. Like so. Then, again with the dry cloth, wipe it clean, but first rinse this in a sink under a tap or in the bathtub. Okay, so now onto the main slide. And for this, as I mentioned before, we need this trombone's cream or slide cream, not the grease, because the grease would be much too thick for it. 
so. And for this same thing, we can use our finger to apply it or use a cloth if you don't want to get your finger dirty. And when doing this, we have to make sure we do it a very thin layer only because too much will be uh, too thick of a layer will actually make the slide worse than it is even without the finger. So just apply it thinner like this, actually a bit too much there. Just a little bit like that. Make sure you spread it all over the slide. So evenly distribute it like this until you can barely see it. Then after this, put the outer slide back on and rub it in, rub it, uh, slide it in and out a few times. This then uh, lubricates the inner part of the slide. Then we can put, I don't have it with me now, but you can get at any music store where they have Lon McCoy, something like that. Get a spray bottle of water and spray that on the inner part of the slide. And what this does is uh, the grease is the oil product which repels water. So the little droplets of water will actually act like uh, little ball bearings which will make it a much smoother feel when you're using your slide and it will run much smoother. So now that we've done the cleaning of our instrument, we can now do the lubrication part of our instrument, which is equally as important in maintaining your instrument. It is important to clean and oil your instrument because, uh, partly uh, health reasons, if you do never clean your instrument, then all those germs from your mouth when blowing get uh, collecting your instrument and you get sick. As well, lubrication is important so that your instrument does not get all seized up and jammed up, especially in valve instruments, which I'll talk about in another video, where uh, they'll get rusty and seized up and will not, will not be playable. And especially slides, if you never grease them or oil them, they'll get seized up and you cannot tune your instrument or even take a look. So, for oiling and greasing your instrument, there are several uh, products you need. So here's some multi-use of, of valve oil for piston or rotary valve oils. Ball joint oil. This is useful on bass trombones or French horns or tubas. Any instrument that has rotary valve oil. That uses rotary valve, sorry. And this is much thicker. <clears throat> and this is for the joints only, not for the valve itself. And specifically for trombone slide, the classic old trombone cream, which I suggest is much, I prefer uh, that towards uh, valve oil, uh, slide oil, which I've never used it, but I do think that uh, the cream works much better. So first we're going to grease the tuning slides. So for this, we need the tuning grease, which uh, looks like the cream, the the case, the uh, jars they come in look very similar, but we have to make sure that this is grease and not cream. Now the grease is much thicker, and you cannot get this mixed up with the cream using when uh, for your main slide because it will be much too thick, and it will be hard to play and mess up your slide. So for grease, we can use. I I suggest you can use a little bit more of this than you can when using cream with cream a very thin layer but with the grease you can use a thicker layer since uh, we do not need to use these slides as much. Since you just use your finger or if you prefer some people like to use a piece of paper towel or Kleenex so not to get your fingers all greasy. And with this as well, you want to make sure that it's evenly spread <coughs> so that it is properly mixed. And 
now if you put it back in the trombone. As you see with my model, the main tuning slide that goes right here has uh, the inner part of the slide on only one side of it, and then the other side is the outer part. And then the inner part, of that other inner part of the slide is right here on the trombone. So you have to grease that as well. You see the others don't have that, just the outer part. all back in. I suggest doing the inner slide first, the middle one. See now it slides in and out much easier. And this really facilitates tuning when you can make very, very fine adjustments of the slide length. And when putting in the valve slides, I suggest depressing the valve because otherwise it creates pressure which might not be good for the instrument. So now we can go on to the oiling the valves. So for this, as I said before, you can use, with I, I this is piston valve I use on my tuba, which also works for rotor valves. Or you can use a plain old rotor valve or an old piston valve. So for this, we need to take out both of the valve slides, these two smaller ones here, to get down into the valves. So when doing this, you, we only need to put a few drops in, and we put them in from, from the top here, from these tubes right here, and that goes directly down into the valve. Just two or three drops. And I suggest you really only need to lubricate or oil your instrument every week every two weeks or so but any longer than that might not be the might not be good for the instrument as I said it will get uh, seized up and when you are renting a used instrument you might want to might need to do this right away because sometimes when you get them they haven't been played for several months or maybe even a few years <coughs> it might be in a very poor condition then, once putting the oil in, just run the valves a few times to get the oil uh, all lubricated around. But all the inner part of the valve is covered in oil. Because when playing, you want your, even on a bass trombone like this, you're not using valves all the time, you still want them to run really smoothly so they work well for you when you need them. As well, uh, we can uh, oil the outside part of the valves here that I'll show you. Take off the valve caps and as you can see this is gives you sort of access to the inside of the valve from the outside and you put oil right here and that will, there's a little, you can't see it very well, but a little, little space in there that will allow oil to get into that valve. And just put it on the cap first, right in that little sort of cone shaped hole there, or crater, whatever you like to call it. <clears throat> Turn the trombone upside down so that the oil doesn't fall out of the cap and screw it on. Which can be a bit tricky sometimes with these. There you go. I'll just do it for one valve, just the same for both of them. Yeah, 
again, but the valve slides back in. See, now everything looks really nice and smooth in here. So now we've oiled the inner part of the valves. Now we can oil the trigger joints right here. So when doing this, we use, as I mentioned before, ball joint oil, which you can use on any rotary valve instrument. And if you can see, there's little joints, ball joints right here. And so we use the oil. It's a long, uh, just put a little, little bit on. The stuff is very sticky. So you don't want to get it on your clothes. Just put a little bit on. And remember each each uh, joint here, and right here as well. And when you do this, this will make the joints move a lot smoother, which will be really facilitate your playing. Good. And again, run the valves a few times, a few times. And once again, remember to clean your instrument and oil it, because as one of, as my trombone teacher always tells me, a good saying to remember: if you take care of your instrument, your instrument will take care of you. Thank you again for watching. And please subscribe to my channel to see other of my videos on cleaning brass instruments and on playing techniques. Thank you. If you have any comments or questions, please, please put them in the comments section below.